Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the KC Baseball Report presented by Budweiser. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Overland Park Golf Club. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, July 14th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Uh, you can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. And you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. Now, this show is being taped at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off Johnson Drive, where you can sign up your kids for a learn to skate or learn to play hockey class on their website kcicecenter.com now today we're taping our radio show which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m. and our TV show which can be seen on sure West cable on channel 7 at 8:30 a.m. at 4:30 p.m. and at 8:30 p.m. every single day now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube and all you have to do is search for the good sports KC channel and that's all one word good sports KC KC. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that the current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our June issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, our new issue of She KC is also available at over 500 locations. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our KC Baseball Spotlight presented by Budweiser. This month, we visit with some of the All-Stars, the Royals' most recent All-Star, Billy Butler, and two-time All-Star and member of the 85 Royals, Danny Jackson. And in She KC, we have a story on Kansas City's own gold medal winner, uh, Christy Ambrosi, who was a part of the U.S. Olympic softball team in 2000. Plus, we show you ways to stay safe in the summer and protect yourself. Now, you can currently pick up your copy of KC Sports at Burger King's, both Minsky's on Berry Road, Mr. Good Sense, and, of course, here at the Kansas City Ice Center and also at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. Now, for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You will find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue and many other issues on our website as well. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, I'd mentioned we are out here at uh, the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And we're joined by uh, Dean Nelson, who is the general manager for the Kansas City Ice Center. He's been a regular guest on our show for uh, several months. Uh, welcome back to the show, Dean. Hey, thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you. Now, you, you guys are, um, well, one of the things I want to ask you about, first off, before we jump into the, the cool news about what's going on outside, um, is you guys just, you know, there's something that hockey rinks across the country in the summertime often do, and you guys did this f uh, a week or two ago or something like that, and that is uh, improving the ice by melting everything down and then bringing everything back up on the ice surface. That sounds easy, right. but it's not an easy task. Tell us what goes into that. I mean, sure. what, what exactly happens sure. here? Uh, what we do is, uh, at first, uh, we just have to turn off all the compressors that keep the ice cold, the flooring. So we turn those off, and uh, like nature have it, you open up the doors. It's 107 degrees outside <laughs> or whatever it was during those weeks. And uh, it melts the ice, literally melts the ice, and so you're, then you're with a pool of water. You have to find somewhere for that water to go to drain. Uh, we have a sand floor, so it's a little bit more difficult. 
Uh, a lot of it goes into the sand, but then we pump it off with, uh, like, a, a pool pump, you know, like you put on your pool cover. Right. And we'd uh, pump it off with those. And then uh, after that, uh, you kind of let it dry up, and you have to regrade it a little bit to make it uh, sure that it's level. Uh, the guys came in from a uh, uh, train, and they did some work on our compressors. Our compressors are a little bit older here at mm-hmm. the ice rink, and they were only running about 75% capacity. So they went ahead and did some work on those, on the heads, on those, to make sure that they were running at full capacity, which will help our energy and things like sure. that. Sure. Sure. Uh, we only were down for two weeks, and then after those two weeks, uh, we, we brought the ice back up. And the way we did that was uh, refroze the floor. The, there was still water in the sand, and we had to add a little bit, so we refroze that. Okay. Uh, then you paint the ice, so you actually go out with a, with a large sprayer and, and mix a, uh, a jet uh, ice paint. And you go ahead. Now, you paint it white first? Yes. You paint it white first. Okay. Yep. Oops. Yep. Sorry. No, that's just, all right. I just you, grabbed you, your yeah, that's there. All right. Sorry. You paint it white first, and uh, what you do is you lay a small layer of ice over the sand. Uh, or a cement floor, whichever you have in your right, rink, right. and uh, uh, go ahead and paint it white. And then uh, after you, it is white, you seal it a little bit with just some cold water, and then that's when you lay the lines. And, and the lines uh, can either be painted on or laid by vinyl. Or actually this year we tried a new uh, uh, line service uh, from Jet Ice, and uh, they were actually like dryer sheets. They're very thin. Really? Yeah, they're like dryer sheets so that the uh, water that you freeze them down with will um, immediately uh, stick to the white. Stick to okay. the, the ice that you've just painted. Sure. And then after that, it, it takes a multiple number of layers of, of uh, slowly put on ice or slowly put on water to be able to make that ice surface. And uh, I tell you what, with the challenge that we had of the um, of the weather, uh, being 105 degrees or 100 degrees outside, the building tends to kind of show the same weather as it, uh, it is outside. It does not stay as cold. So we had to work through the night most of the nights and early in the mornings or mm-hmm. late at night to be able to build that ice and what we have today. So just my thanks really go out to all the staff and, and, the, and the volunteers and the people that we had around here uh, to help build that back so we could be open again. Wow. So it's a two-week process. You came back. Uh, you started a, a new uh, session here uh, today. Yes. You were – you. It was a learn to skate session, I guess. Uh, what was going on when we were setting up here, and you had hockey going this morning, and yeah, we all had that a new, stuff, yeah. yeah, we had a new session, learn to play hockey this morning. It's our third straight session. It's an eight week session, and uh, it's for kids that want to learn how to play hockey uh, from like three to thirteen. I think they're out there right now. Right, <laughs> it was actually a lot of fun this morning. I. Uh, uh, we didn't know what to expect because it's our third one, and a lot of kids are graduating now. They're going up to the, to play in the hockey organizations. Right. So I didn't know what to expect, and we had a whole new group of kids this morning. I think we had 12 to 15 kids who had never skated before, and you'd be surprised how a couple of those kids by the end of the day didn't have their walkers. They were already skating just in mm-hmm. one time. Mm-hmm. A dad came up to me and said, you know what, I am amazed by the uh, number of uh, helpers you have out there. I had probably eight to ten coaches out there today uh, that volunteer that work here at the rink. My staff is just amazing here. And uh, we had the kids going, and then uh, 11.30 today started a new Learn to Skate session. So, you know, the two weeks we were shut down, I would say we really need about a month to shut down <laughs> to really do it, uh, you know, take some time and do it. But uh, the guys worked through through the night here, and we got it done in two weeks because really the demand for uh, hockey and the demand for skating, as you can see with the large public skate we have going on now, uh, people want to beat the heat and get inside and, and somewhere right. cool. Right, but I'll bet it was a tough couple of weeks if you had to have the doors open yeah. and we're melting that ice and we're working on, on the facility. You were basically working out in the heat. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Time. Yeah, a little bit. And we did some other projects in here as sure. well, you know, to, to beautify the place a little bit, just to, some painting and things like that. So, you know, the, the whole crew did a great job. Well, it's great to be that you guys are back up and, and going and, and uh, you know, lots of fun going on out on the ice. Now, the owners of the rink invested a million dollars about a year or two ago um, to renovate the facility, uh, did a lot of different improvements and, you know, areas that maybe we as the public wouldn't see, humidifiers and things like that, and the ice surface and the boards and, and you know, the walls and stuff like that. Uh, now, the last time we were here and the last couple of times we've talked about what's going on outside, and now I showed up today and dirt's being moved. There's bulldozers outside, which I'm going to take a picture of and put up there. Sure. Uh, tell us what's going on outside. Yeah, it's real neat. Uh, real excited here at Kansas City Ice Center. Uh, we're going to build an outdoor pavilion. So there's going to be a full NHL-sized rink outside, and it will be mainly used for those months of November to May. Or March, I'm sorry, November to mm-hmm. March. Uh, I wish it was to May, but uh, <laughs> maybe in Minnesota where I'm from, it could be till May. But uh, November to March, uh, basically, and what it's going to be, it's going to be uh, um, – an extra sheet of ice for us in those months that we're really, really busy. It's going to be an outdoor facility, but it will be fully covered. 
And uh, we're set to open around November 20th, somewhere in there, uh, depending on uh, the construction, but hopefully by Thanksgiving. So we're really, really excited to have, you know, outdoor public skates and, uh, and hockey games outside and learn to skate outside and, and just all the neat things that uh, an outdoor rink in the atmosphere brings uh, to the table. I was actually got a magazine the other day and it said Coon Rapids, Minnesota, you know, where it was going with an outdoor rink, you hmm. know, and, and kind of the same setup where, mm-hmm. you know, they um, – they know that it's only for the certain amount of months, and a lot of times up north they'll take their ice totally down, not just for two weeks. Right. They'll take it out for the whole summer, right? You know, and do some stuff. So we think it's going to be great, not only for the county of Johnson County down here, but also for the city of Shawnee. We're really, really excited to have an outdoor rink, uh, and the only one like it of its kind. So, what level are they at right now? Obviously, things are smoothed out. Are they going to start putting pipes in and things like that now, or do they have to dig deeper? Uh, no, actually, what they're doing right now is they're getting ready to lay the concrete. So the, the oh, okay. Pipe, yeah, so they're getting ready to lay the concrete. The the pipes and stuff will be uh, uh, in that same phase. Right. Uh, but I believe this week, Monday, Tuesday, footings and concrete, and they're, and they're really moving along. I mean, because wow. the base of it is what they need to get in to be able to build the rest of it around it. So they have to get that in here as quick as they can. And, and we haven't had any rain, as you know, that the... The uh, ground is about as hard and dry and as dry <laughs> as you can get around here. I, right. You know, hitting my golf ball uh, when I do get time goes t- 20, 30 yards farther now with the hard ground. <laughs> it's hitting so, the ground. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's just crazy around here. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're very, very excited about the project they have going on here. For sure. And the reaction in the hockey community and in the figure skating community to this news, what's it been like? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. I tell you, they, they're really, really excited like we are. I mean, everybody that comes in here or that's heard about it or the phone calls I get, uh, or the emails have just been very positive. Uh, you know, this is a great thing for the community, a great thing for the kids. Uh, we do get busy in those months. I mean, you know, some of our public skates get 150, 200 kids on the ice. So it would be great to have one outdoors uh, where uh, we could have two public skates in the same day where they mm-hmm. can choose. Sometimes we get limited ice time, mm-hmm. you know, where we can just have one. So uh, we really, really believe it's going to be a great addition for the community. I agree. I agree. And, and being the only full-size NHL outdoor rink is exciting as a former hockey um, player at a very basic level right. it's still a lot of fun to think about going out and playing outside that that is just kind of cool yeah you know, i think you if you knew your game was coming you know on this saturday and you were on the outdoor rink i mean as a kid uh and, and you experienced that once or twice you know they have a full day of outdoor hockey in minnesota yeah. and the kids uh and the adults and everyone just look forward to it so much that it, it's going to be a great great uh, asset to us here at kansas city ice center as well as we think that the families and the and the kids are just going to really look forward to it i agree i agree so while that's happening outside inside you've got a number of summer hockey camps that are coming up uh starting very soon yeah here fill us in on some of those yeah we have a, a sniper clinic that is, is just for shooting and scoring and that is uh in july I think it's July 23rd through July 26th. That's an afternoon, uh, like a hockey clinic. Mm -hmm. Then we have our full day camps. We have a skills camp that uh, Larry Pedry will help me with, and he'll come on uh, over here to the rink, and he'll run that uh, skills camp. And then we have a battle camp. Uh, You know, I I hate to say it, but the battle camp is uh, pretty much full right now, you know, and and, uh, it's just another great camp that we're bringing here to Kansas City to help kids develop their hockey. Right. So let's talk about who's teaching those. You mentioned Larry Pedry. He's got a – full resume of um, big time coaching yeah. experience so he's going to be coaching that at the at the collegiate level and he also scouted for the Blackhawks I think yep um, now the battle camp you've got an NHLer sure. coming into town a, fr- a buddy of yours that yeah. you grew up with yeah yeah Sean Podine a good friend of mine who ended his career with St. Louis and won a Stanley Cup with the Colorado Avalanche will come down for a couple of days to help us with that battle camp uh, it, 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 the battle camp is called Minnesota Invades Kansas City with Battle Camp. <laughs> the reason being is uh, myself from Minnesota, Matt Alexander, my assistant general manager is from Minnesota. Uh, Sean will come down. He's from Minnesota. Uh, we want to bring, I guess, just a little bit of flavor down here to the Kansas City kids that uh, show them the way uh, the way that hockey's played a little bit that we grew up on. Right. Uh, you know, hockey's a battle. It really, truly is. I mean, every shift, uh, every game, uh, you know, the – it's, it's a series of one-on-one battles, two-on-two battles, and it's really whoever wins those battles with the puck really ends up winning the game, as you know. Right. And so we want to try to bring a camp here to Kansas City that maybe the kids haven't seen before, the parents haven't seen before, that, that is continuous battles, on-the-wall battles, in front of the net battles, uh, you know, and we'll have teams and we'll have different jersey colors and, and, you know, the kids get off the ice after that hour and next thing you know, they don't even know that they were on there for an hour. Right. You know, they're just so excited about the, the, the small games that they're playing and stuff. Right. So we're very, very excited. 
Right, and yeah, if you can win those kind of battles, all of a sudden your your team's doing better. You're you're contributing to your team. It's a lot more fun. Right, the right. game the game's a lot more fun yep. that way. So so in addition to that, now we had mentioned uh, that you guys had learned to play hockey this morning. Let's talk a little bit about that. Obviously, you mentioned no experience is necessary. A sure. kid a kid can come in. Uh, do you outfit them with the skates and the sticks and things things like that to begin with? Yeah, we do. We actually have here on site, we have all the skates for them. We have sticks that they can rent or they can use for that day. Mm-hmm. We do try to have them bring their own helmet with face mask at right. any age because a kid that small trying some new moves or trying some new skating could go back or could go forward. We want them in that helmet with face mask. Sure. Uh, you know, I, I think that the biggest thing that we had this morning was I probably had eight kids who – didn't have sticks or skates Mm -hmm. and we had it all for them right here Mm -hmm. you know and then they said well how about a pair of gloves and i said sure we got that i mean believe me we have a bin of gloves that have been left (laughs) here at the rink by little kids that we haven't lost and and it's so funny they're this they're this big they're they're, they're so cute they're they're real tiny and we just pick a couple from lost and found use these for today or whatever and then give them back and and i tell you the the amount of new kids that we get into the program is great so you don't have to have any experience right we also have kids in there that are ready to go into the, the STARS organization or whatever organization they want to play in that are more experienced. So we have three different levels. It's called the rookies with no experience, the little stars with some experience, and then we call them the all-stars, right. the kids who are ready to go and get on a team. And, and so we have three levels of uh, learn to play hockey. And, and I believe uh, in our third session, it's one of the greatest things that I've been able to accomplish here at the rink is to bring some type of a, a small hockey program to the little, little kids. Sure. And, and age-wise, you had mentioned that you had kids earlier in the, in the show. You'd mentioned the ages, but starting age uh, to, I got to them get out there, out there at age three right now. Wow. And then and some of them are age 13. So I got yeah. them age three yeah. to 13. And, you know, a couple of kids that came in were 12 and 13, and they said, well, we just want, we want to learn. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm not going to say no. I mean, you want to learn how to play hockey? That's Absolutely. great. Who knows where they'll go, how far. But most kids don't even develop, uh, you know, until later in life. Right. So why not give them a chance, put them on the ice? It was awesome. And, of course, they felt a little different because the three-year-old was next to them, probably going a little bit faster, <laughs> you know, than the 13-year-old. But uh, that some of those little kids can scoot out there. Man. And and they, they fall down and they get up a little bit faster because there's no distance <laughs> right. from, from falling down to getting up. The bigger you are, the harder you fall, the harder as, you as, fall as, it, right. as it's said. But, that's um, right. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a great experience, and it's so interesting to watch these kids do it and, and thrive on it and thrive and develop yeah. and, and things like that. So the types of things that you work on with these kids, obviously, the, at, at the rookie level, it's just getting their balance and, and handling themselves on the ice with the stick. But the little stars and the all-stars, you're starting to work on backward skating and mm-hmm. and turns and, yeah. and puck handling and things like that, yep, all stop, that kind of yep, stuff. we're working on stops. Uh, stops of course, today. stops. Yeah. We're working on stops today because I have one kid named Jack, and all he does is use the boards to stop, and he goes very, very fast. And I've that seen that in the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <I think laughs> <he's> <laughs> There's the kid in the Mighty Ducks movie that was like that. I yeah. think he's going to get injured one of these times. Yeah. He keeps getting back up, like you said. So they're working on stops this morning. They were working on uh, control turns. They were working on some crossovers this morning in those groups. Uh, the little kids were working on uh, how to stand up when you fall down, yeah. how to hold your stick. Yeah. You know, all these things are taken for granted sometimes that my kid you know, will know how to hold his stick. And, and that we need to teach that as well. So, Well, and if you watch the pros, uh, you know, that's part of the goal is the moment they go down, they are back up so fast. Right. I mean, you know, they're the pros and, and they can do that. But that's one of the things I remember working with the kids is you'd throw them down, get them to slide on their st- – they had fun with it. Get them to slide on their stomach and then pop back up. Right. And it was a great skill and not only – a great skill, but it also saved them from, you know, from having to go, you know, go into the boards or right, things like right. that because they're getting back up and on the ice and they're starting to skate again. Yeah, so, so it gives us the time to be able to work on things that you might not think about, you know, that you take for granted, that they should know that. We work on all those things. And with the coaching staff that I have here and the, and the uh, employees that work for me here at the rink, it's been real, real nice. Now, uh, goalies. Um, <laughs> you guys, I'm sure, work with the goalies and have, have individuals that work with the goalies. Some kids just gravitate yeah. to that, and some kids gravitate to it, and, and they, they excel at it. So other kids gravitate to it, and then they later turn and, and go back to saying, oh, this is, this is crazy. You've got to be crazy to be in this <laughs> thing. But, you know, at a very at what early age should, I mean, coming from Minnesota, a kid says, Man, I just want to be a goalie. I'm right. six years old. Right. What do you think? I mean, what uh, do you say? I tell them, think again. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> literally the parents will come to me and say, my kid wants to be a goalie. And I would say, tell him no. You know, right. I mean, yeah. that's really my first <laughs> comment. Uh, you know, it takes a special kid to be a goalie. You know, I mean, it, there's one goalie that plays on a team at once. That's it. Right. You know, I mean, when you're a forward or a defenseman in, in hockey, uh, there's there's 15 of you. Right. You know, so you're playing every other shift or every third shift. When there's a goalie, there's only one. 
you know, so it, it gets very, very tough on that individual kid to uh, be a goalie with. So it takes a special kid, a special work ethic, a special want to be in that net and have that pressure on you. So I usually tell them, go ahead and try it. That's fine. But don't, you know, don't lose your regular hockey skates and your regular hockey pads because <laughs> he'll probably come back because each kid had about squirts. Says, I want to be the goalie. That, it, it, that's like seven, seven eight, eight, nine, yeah, somewhere yeah. there. They all of a sudden in their mind somewhere think, I want to be the goalie. Right. Okay. Right. And they usually come out for one or two practices and they get all those pads on and they go, you know what? I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to be the goalie. Yeah. And then they go back to doing what they were doing. So, well, I just wondered as, as well at a certain level for them just to put themselves in that position at that young and young of an age, you lose out on certain developing certain skills sure. as well. And skating, even if you're a goalie, skating is key. Yeah, skating and, and being quick on your skates. And and usually what I'll do for them is I'll have them play goalie one game, and then the next game I'll put somebody else in there at the youngest kids, right. and I'll have them skate out because I don't want them to lose that skating technique. I won't have right. a kid that young sit on the bench as a second goalie and watch the whole game. Right. I'll say, hey, you play defense this game. You're only in squirts. You don't need to be sitting down watching a full game or, or what have you. Right. You still need to work on your skills. So uh, it's usually in squirts that they want to try it. And it's usually in squirts that they make that decision. You know, do I want to stay with her or do I want right. to get out of it? And as a parent of a goalie, uh, I can't think of a, sometimes a worse position to be in than, <laughs> than be a parent of a goalie. Believe me, I was a goalie just in recreational, <laughs> and I was a parent of a goalie. Oh, man. And the team in front of the goalie, the goalie was okay, you know. The team in front of the goalie was okay. But <laughs> when the good guys came out, then – you know, the, the holes were shown there. Yeah. And it, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. But so. we do have help around here for goalies. I had a guy on the ice this morning to help learn to play hockey. And uh, he uh, was helping the goalie that we have out there because we have one and learn to play yeah. hockey right now. Yeah. So they can start as young as they want, usually around that squirt age. And, and uh, if they develop into something that they want to stick with it, then we encourage it uh, fully. And we have help around here for that as well. For sure, for sure. Well, we're talking with Dean Nelson, who's the general manager of the Kansas City Ice Center. Dean, give us uh, your phone number and sure. website and all that stuff. We've only got about a minute, I that, think, or so left. Sure. But we want to make sure we Sounds get that. Sounds great. In. If you're interested in any of our programs here that we're doing at the rink, we're at uh, the Kate. K- KCIceCenter.com is our website, KCIceCenter.com. And then you can always reach us down here by phone at uh, 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033, Kansas City Ice Center. And uh, we can help you out with any of your uh, hockey or uh, skating needs. And if you're an adult and you want to play hockey, you can contact the rink. If you want to learn how to play hockey, you can contact the rink. Uh, There's also public skating, which is perfect right now because I think it's 100 degrees outside today. (laughs) It's wonderful to be in here. It was horrible walking (laughs) into the place, (laughs) all that kind of stuff. Uh, You do lock-ins and all kinds of things like that as well. Parties. You've got a party that's going to be going on in a little while. Yeah, we're doing one in a couple weeks that they rented the ice for two hours, and they're going to let their family of 30 or 40 go out there. So, you know, it's a little bit spendy when you want the uh, rink to yourself, but... Uh, we will uh, take care of you, whatever Absolutely. you need. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and you're watching and listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine show. We are coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. The sports stars are out in this month's Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine All-Star Game issue. Check out our exclusive Budweiser All-Star Game Baseball Report, plus the Great Life Golf and Fitness Report, and the Surplus Exchange KC Football Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine all over KC. And it's always free, so pick one up today. And be sure to check out Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness TV show. You'll find it on YouTube by searching for the Good Sports KC channel. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, like Kansas City Chiropractic on Facebook and save 50% on a 30-minute massage. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. 
I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you are playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. At Stanley Tire and Auto, you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Visit Stanley Tire and Auto, located two blocks east of Metcalf off 151st Street or call 913-239-8473. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine and She KC Magazine. I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435. We're going to have your next party. Come on out for a public skating session. Uh, a learn to skate or a learn to play hockey session, or you can schedule a broom ball game to find out all you can do here. Uh, you, all you need to do is visit their website, caseyicecenter.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Uh, So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange Football Report. This month, we analyze a story that appeared on the Sports Illustrated website saying that our Chiefs have all the talent in place to be Super Bowl contenders this season. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, And in SheKC, we feature a story on swim training and how to avoid shoulder injuries. Plus, we feature a story on the Women's Foundation of Greater Kansas City. You can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, where we're doing our show today, Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside on 127th and Metcalf. Now, you'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are caseysportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can view our show, this show, and past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. 
Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include the UPS stores at 103rd and Warnell and 121st and State Line in Leewood, faxing, scanning, notary services. The two South KC UPS stores offer services that make life easier and help keep businesses running smoothly. The Bogey Beaters Golf Classic, which is coming up on September 8th at Hodge Park. You can play golf with former Royals Greg Pryor, Danny Jackson, Al Fitzmorris, and former Chief Walter White. Now, this tournament benefits Autism Speaks and the Liberty Hospital Foundation. There's an entry form for the tournament in this month's KC Sports, and you can visit the Hands on Golf Facebook page for more details. And Staley Farms Great Life Golf Club, where you can sign up now as a member of this elite golf club and save big. For more information, call 816 595 7301 or visit StaleyFarms.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in She KC, and they are Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Kansas City Chiropractic, Pulowski and Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delights Yoga, Beans and Greens, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now, we're going to take another quick break. Uh, you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. We are coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Or buy one meal at Incredible's Breakfast Nook and get one free. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman. And 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. There's still time to sign up for the Junior Golf Camp, Get Golf Ready Clinic, and the Family Golf Event featuring clinics and contests at Heart of America Golf Academy. Visit hoagolfacademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. The goal of the Beans and Greens program is to encourage shoppers utilizing the Beans and Greens Match program to enhance their diets with local produce by making healthy local produce more accessible and affordable. For more information, visit beansandgreens.org. Donations are welcome. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. 
Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit I-9sports.com. Great golf, great fitness, and great prices. You'll find that combination at five KC area Great Life Golf Courses. Get unlimited green fees, seven-day advanced tee times, access to a full fitness center, and to 16 area golf courses. Visit greatlifegolf.com for more details on the $29.99 per month single or family membership at River Oaks and Grandview, the Oaks and Leavenworth, and courses in DeSoto and Ottawa. And find out more about the $49.99 membership at the Leavenworth Country Club. For great golf, great fitness, and great prices, visit greatlifegolf.com. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now today, we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party come on out for a public skating session or a learn to skate or learn to play hockey class. Uh, you can also schedule a broom ball game. And all, you can, uh, for all the things that you can do here, visit their website, kceicecenter.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can outfit your office for under $500, including a computer, executive chairs, desks, flat screen monitors, office supplies, and computers, and more. You'll find them all at discounted prices at the Surplus Exchange. Visit their website at surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444 for more information. Now, I also want to mention some experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness or SheKC. To read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all over KC. And you can also find SheKC at over 500 locations. Now, this month, SheKC, we introduce you to a female police officer whose job is to serve the city on horseback as a part of the Mounted Patrol. We also talk with former pro golfer Liz Smart Hinton, who now teaches golf at the Overland Park Golf Course. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. We've got stories on the Overland Park golf courses, uh, also a story on why you should watch out for off-the-rack clubs. Now, I also want to mention that on July 21st, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. Now, our taping will start at about 1230 that day. On July 28th, we will be at Danny Jackson's Incredible at 151st and Antioch, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day also. Now, also coming up in August, uh, we'll be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center. I think we're looking at about the 10th of August, where we're going to tape a show when they've got uh, their um, battle camp going on that Dean talked about when we were on the air just a few minutes ago. Casey Ice Center, of course, is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Our taping will start in the afternoon at some point, so stay tuned. We'll have more details on that. And on Saturday in August, we will be at a new location, the Overland Park Golf Club, which is located at 125th and Quivera, and more details also will be coming from that taping. Now, we're joined here at the Kansas City Ice Center by Dr. Susan Anschutz, who's been a regular on our show for several months, and Dr. William Thomas. They are from Summit of Health Integrative Care Chiropractic and the Hyperbaric Center. Welcome to the show. Welcome back, Thank Dr. You. Anschutz. Uh, fill us in, Dr. Anschutz. Where are you guys located? We're located in Lee Summit off of Chipman Road, uh, 200 Northeast Chipman Road, uh, near the intersection of Douglas. And your website is? Summitofhealth.com. Phone number for appointments and questions? and 816-554-4771. Now, Dr. Anschutz, how long have you been practicing? You've been a practicing chiropractor? Um, it'll be four years this month. Okay. And, and before that, you did a lot of? I did several other related, things. Related right. to the Medical healthcare practice industry. Medical practice management for exact, several years. Exactly. Now, Dr. Thomas, you're new to the practice but how long have you been a chiropractor? 
Uh, Dr. Anschutz and I went to school together, so we graduated in 2007. Oh, okay. So okay, so you've we known each other through through the tough times there. <laughs> um, so, uh, but you're new to the practice. What are you bringing to the practice at this time? Well, I focus mainly on musculoskeletal conditions. So okay. people who uh, just start ex exercising and they start having aches and pains want to know why they have to stop exercising. So we give them an answer. I see, I see. Now, you had mentioned... Uh, I, I've had a condition with one of my feet for years and years and years, and I think it had to do with driving a clutch car in Houston, Texas, which is stop and go and having to be in that car for an hour each way to and from home. And it's just a continual issue that has gotten better over time once I got rid of the stick shift car. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but you, you deal with, uh, obviously, with sports. It's affected me in sports. It's affected me in just, you know, the regular day-to-day -day of life as well. Um, you know, you guys can offer those types of solutions for individuals, you know, that maybe played sports at one point, but are, you know, you're working a job or whatever, and, and help them. What kind of things do you see in your practice? Well, the condition that you typically would have when somebody comes in and tells me about that is accumulative stress disorder, and that can show up anywhere in the body. Right. So uh, first, we'd want somebody to come in. We're going to talk to them a lot. We're going to, what have you changed in your routine? Uh, what's going on? Why did this show up? And how is it interfering with your life? Um, a lot of people, they just want to get out of pain enough to go back to work and make a living mm -hmm. for their family. Mm -hmm. um, some people are in so much pain, they just want it to stop because it can really uh, be debilitating and lead to things like depression. Um, so first, I want to know what, what happened to cause this pain. Um, pain's just an indicator. It's really honest. Uh, but it doesn't give us a lot of good information, so we want to find out from you all the details of how this came about. Um, and with that, uh, we have a lot of different treatments we can take care of in the clinic for you. Okay. Sure, and the bones in the foot are a ridiculous, there's a ridiculous number of them, so there's a lot that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. And then when you have the feet like I have that are big and I can't put it up to the camera, I guess I could, but, you know, <laughs> I'd have to be a gymnast probably to do that. <laughs> but the it, it's amazing the, how long the toes are. You know, you, you might have a toe that, that's this long, but really the bone is, is it, it seems to me, it's still part of the toe and it goes into the middle of your foot almost. You know? Well, it gets tricky as well because if your feet aren't feeling well, you're going to feel that all the way up your body. Right. Your body is amazing. It always wants its eyes on the horizon, actually. Um, so if you walk a little bit um, and not in really good posture, you're going to kind of snake pain all the way up to the top of your hmm. head. Well, I know that one of the things that you guys practice uh, is kind of a natural approach to healing. And Dr. Anschutz has said, if you can get things right. straightened out, you say it. You say it better than I do. So right. if you can get things in position, the body's going to take care of itself. Is that does Exactly. That? Natural healing, body in balance. Um, I'd probably also look at inflammatory indicators in the person. Um, history of sprains and strains. Um, I get a lot of plantar fasciitis and runners who've either just gone in, decided they wanted to do a 5K and started working on it. And a couple of days after the 5K, it all it all blows up on them. Um, explain heel pain. what? Yeah, explain what plantar fasciitis is. It's the membrane across the bottom of the foot. It hooks on the heel and it hooks on uh, bones in the in the upper foot. And uh, when you start to lose your arch you stretch out that membrane and if the membrane doesn't want to stretch it's going to start pulling and one of the places it starts pulling is right on the heel bone mm -hmm. um, your body then goes in and calcifies it to stabilize the injury and now you've got a heel spur so plantar fasciitis leading to heel spurs get that inflammation out of there or at least even if the spur is already there uh, fight the inflammation around it a lot of myofascial techniques, cold laser, foot adjustments, right orthotics, that kind of thing. Can now, help. Dr. Thomas, I've heard that actually if people go out and they, they run in their neighborhoods and things like that, that they can have injury, be a little injury prone because the, the road that you're running on is crowned. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be a slight difference. I know when I would walk my neighborhood, I didn't like walking on the sidewalk because every few feet you're having to readjust mm -hmm. and, you know, because one, one thing may be plain that way, one may be that, that way. But even if you're running or walking in your neighborhood, it's crowned and that can cause some problems Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Um, I don't have a problem with the crowned street so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's generally people will run against traffic for safety reasons. Right. And they'll do it both ways. So all that I uh. encourage them to do 
is run with traffic and against traffic the other way. So again, it's uh, the same thing that Dr. Anschutz was talking about. We just want balance in the body. Right. Um, a little stress is going to be fun. A little stress is needed for the body. Right. So. Right, absolutely. Now, Dr. Thomas, you had written an article in that ran in our June issue. Dr. Uh, Anschutz has written several articles for us. Uh, in our June issue of KC Sports, you wrote an article about concussions, and you started off by talking to us about something that sports fans around the city uh, you know, are passionate about or were many, you know, several years ago, and that was the concussion that Trent Green suffered from. Now, you, you referred to something in your article as CTE, and, and what is CTE? Mm -hmm. Um, well, what I, wanna, what I wanted to address initially in it is just some more awareness about concussions right, because it's right. going uh, initially um, undiagnosed and there's serious implications of any traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, I'm particularly sensitive to it because I have an 11 and 13 year old that plays soccer. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I just want to encourage everybody, um, if somebody has symptoms of a concussion, and we can talk about that maybe at a, l a later point, uh, it's serious. It's significant problems, and we want to protect our children and ourselves. Um, I can. I'll refer to defer to Dr. Anschutz, and she can talk about the hyperbaric chamber maybe with the CTE. Sure. The, oh, okay. Well, so first, what is CTE? Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and, and it what means does that mean? Yeah. changes to the brain. An an opathy is a change in tissue that happen over time um, due to probably more than one. Uh, brain brain damage concussion situation um, that just gets worse over time as the tissue degrades. I see. And um, let's just talk about some of those symptoms first, and then we'll talk about the uh, solution that you guys have in your office that's, uh, yeah, l some of the symptoms, um, first of all, the thing is you don't have to lose lose consciousness that's Im important that's to know that's old information yeah, yeah that's important and to know. or how long you lose consciousness they used to grade it by that but that's not the case anymore right um now one of the other things is um changes in your sleep patterns and things like that go ahead mm -hmm. dr thomas i would s i would say this even before we get into such detailed question of that if somebody suspects it or they're unsure about it just be safe uh, and get them checked out checked out right away so, for example, um, if somebody's on the soccer field and they've taken a bad fall, they've hit their head, um, I want to go up and just ask some basic questions. Do you know what, what day it is? Right. What's your name? Where are you? So that just initial assessment is about the functionality of the brain. Um, there's some other more, f more uh, advanced questions or things that I can check for. I want to look if their eyes um, are, your pupils are dilating or not. Um, so just want to do a quick initial screen, at least for athletic endeavors, for sure. Right. I know my and son was playing lacrosse, and he got hit from behind. And, you know, in lacrosse, you wear a full cage, mm -hmm. and you've got a helmet on. But he went down and got right back up, and the next day he started feeling headaches mm -hmm. more, you know. And he, it, it wasn't like he we couldn't communicate with him or anything right. like that, but he just fe started feeling the headaches. And we did that. We, we went into – it was after hours. We went right. into the emergency room just to make sure, and they said he had a, just a – yeah. A very possibly a very mild one, which is a great decision on your part. I mean, the, maybe the best way to think about a concussion is, I mean, if our brain is sitting in a bath, um, think of a, an egg in a glass jar filled with water. You try to shake it, but it's going to be hard for that egg to hit the wall mm -hmm. and break the egg. Mm -hmm. um, but if it happens hard enough, you can bruise the brain, and the, if the brain bruises, it's going to swell. There's not much space to go. All of a sudden, we have a problem. Right. Okay. Very very sensitive tissue, highly functioning tissue, tons of neurons in there that are firing. Uh, and we just have to be super careful with that. One of the um, solutions for concussions is a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber, which you have in your office. And I do. You're one of the few places in Kansas City that has that. What is that? What is it? What is the hyperbaric oxygen therapy It is therapy when you chamber? put the body, expose it to more than one atmosphere of pressure, and at a greater pressure, gases dissolve in liquid. So we're dissolving oxygen into the plasma and the cerebrospinal fluid and the joint fluid, instead of waiting for it to be carried on a red blood cell. So at the mild um, hyperbaric oxygen, the type of chamber I have, um, you get about six times the normal amount of oxygen into the body. That oxygen can then work to uh, repair tissue, work on um, damage that's happened to tissue that has not had oxygen, um, help you to carry out more junk, uh, revive areas that have been compressed or injured, and uh, so as simp as simple as this is, um, 
if you have inflammation, we'll go back to the feet, for example, or, mm-hmm. or you know, your, a concussion is a inflammation of your brain. Right. Um, that inflammation is going to be healed by the fact that if you deliver more oxygen to right. it, uh, it's going to heal a little bit faster. Right. Um, and that's what this does by going into this chamber that a- that provides you more oxygen than what we're going to normally have in a situation like this. Exactly. It just delivers more oxygen well, to that. Well, the pressure is what the, the pressure important is. part is. The pressure is? is? The okay. pressure is even more important. You can use a regular oxygen level even at a greater pressure, and the person can get um, a benefit even without... Uh, incorporating more more oxygen. So just just so breathing pure both. oxygen isn't totally isn't the same because without that pressure on your body, you're still just getting, uh, you know, you might get 99 or 100 um, percent oxygen saturation, but you're not getting the oxygen dissolved oh, okay. in the plasma. Okay, so the pressure is what cr- the is pressure what is key. That. Okay, exactly. Okay. In the case of a foot. Um, a foot is a place as far from your heart and your lungs as it, as it can get. And if someone's got some thickening or hardening of the arteries, they're going to have a hard time getting good blood flow down to the feet. Mm-hmm. Hence, we look at peripheral neuropathies. And that's why that develops after diabetic damage to the blood vessels and um, the high blood sugar damages the nerves. It can't get enough oxygen cleared to the feet right. to, to repair that on a regular basis. So this is also a treatment for something as simple as diabetic neuropathy. And what is diabetic neuropathy? That's what when your it? feet burn and tingle, and eventually you lose all sensation in oh, your okay. feet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or uh, fingers. And and for concussion mm-hmm. purposes, um, you know, this is a good solution. I know, and we're at the hockey rink, but I've mentioned to you that right. I know from hearing about hockey players that have had concussions that they used a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber and allowed them to get back into right. the game faster. I know there are other athletes as well in other sports and pro football. and, and Very important adjunct to that rest. I mean, you know, yeah. rest is what's been prescribed for many years. Um but this can be a very important addition to that and help get kids and professionals back at, to their sport, and, but safely. Right. And, and it's good for kids, too. Absolutely. You There's kids. no contraindications in any general kids' health condition. What does it feel like, what does it feel like when you get into that thing? I mean, if... if um, you know. Your ears pop like you're going up in an airplane right. for about the first few minutes while it's inflating. <coughs> Other than that, most people don't notice any sensation. Mm-hmm. Now, if you do have some nerve issues um, and some of the nerves that have been inflamed or damaged start getting some more oxygen, you may get some tingling, tingling fingers, right. tingling toes. Um, uh, people who have sinus conditions who have trouble in airplanes, they may have trouble getting their ears to pop. Um, so we can go slow. We can take it in stages, uh, try to avoid any discomfort that way. But most people are very comfortable Um the chamber has windows in it. It's lit. You can read, take electronics in it. We um, check on them as they're going through the sure, process. Exactly. Sure, exactly. How long is the usual process? A usual therapy is about one hour. Okay. Okay. So you basically are just sitting back and relaxing for mm-hmm. an hour in this this unusual climate, I guess. But mm-hmm. it's 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 pushing that oxygen through your body, and that that's right. that's very neat. And and it can be used for. I mean, I've got a list here of a zillion different things that it can be used for. And it's being used in Europe and Russia for all of those. Recently had a woman in who was an MD from Russia who'd worked um, in a physical health clinic, and uh, a lot of people over there were using it for um, hangovers. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> a very popular treatment for That's not a political comment. Uh, no. <laughs> so so the bars are going to have that, be putting them in around town. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, come on in and visit us. Come back the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other things are w- asthma, um, you know, obviously the flu, it's fatigue, uh, uh, cerebral palsy. Uh, you mm-hmm. and I had talked about au- autism as well. Uh-huh. Um ADD, you know, variety of different things that this can be used for, and it's it's not a uh, it's not invasive at no, all. No, not at it's, all. It's, it's completely passive. Yeah. You just get in there and relax. The naps in there are awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll bet they are. You wake up more refreshed. Do Absolutely. You, so you is that what like you guys do? Most chiropractors <laughs> are, are only open till like 1 o'clock, and then they're closed for about two hours, and Every then they come back. Is that what? No, I'm just kidding. I don't think she's <laughs> saying if your child can't sleep to bring them in. No, 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 no. I was just joking with you on that. But uh, um, you've had a number of successes with it Absolutely. as well in your practice. Tell us about some of those. Um, multiple sclerosis, patient who hadn't been able to use her leg for uh, almost 15 years, was able to start moving um, at the knee and the ankle. Uh, traumatic head injuries, people started to recognize their own needs and work much better towards uh, solutions. Um, autism really improves eye contact, vocabulary, mm -hmm. Stops aggressiveness and uh, temper tantrums in many cases, as well as it's benefiting the body as a whole. And this is something that actually has been around for a long, long time. It has. But for some reason... It, uh, Since the 1600s when the first really? chambers were built. Oh, Absolutely. my gosh. Absolutely. And in fact, during the Spanish flu epidemic here in Kansas City in 1918, a doctor who was an anesthesiologist at KU Med Center built one at KU Med Center, treated people with Spanish flu, um, and then wound up building two centers on his own property here in Kansas City and attracted people from all over the world. They really? were the size of two railroad cars, and they had bathrooms and showers in them, <laughs> and people would come, and they'd even feed them there. You know, It was like a, a hotel stay, but that's, all at pressure. That's just so strange that something like that would go away, and it's neat that you got, you've brought it back to your practice and all yeah, that. So I again, like give, us, give us your location, phone uh, number. And, 200 and Northeast Chipman Road in Lee Summit um, between Highway 50 and 291, and um, the website is summitofhealth.com, and the phone number is 816-554-771. Can you give it to us again? <laughs> five five four four. That's easy to remember. Five that five one. four four, four seven, seven seven one. That's easy to remember. That's Good. cool. <laughs> uh, well, that will do it for our show today. I want to thank our host for the show, the Kansas City Eye Center, and of course our guest, Dean Nelson from the KC Eye Center, Dr. Susan Anschutz, and Dr. Uh, William Thomas from Summit of Health Chiropractic. Thank you both for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports. The Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about health, sports, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine and She KC Magazine. You will find them all over Kansas City, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, like Kansas City Chiropractic on Facebook and save 50% on a 30-minute massage. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. 
also sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway sport court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The city's best 18-hole championship golf course, Staley Farms is a truly enjoyable private club experience for golfers of all skill levels with a welcoming atmosphere where members can always get a tee time, offering both fine dining and a casual grill, plus a soon-to-be state-of-the-art fitness center. Our rustic clubhouse is an inviting place for the whole family. Going on now through the end of June, get a $500 card voucher with your membership. Whatever your handicap, prepare for a unique experience at Staley Farm. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like SheKC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the SheKC community. Are you?